everyone today i'm here with what i pack for michaela and damien um for a trip either this is to go out just for a few hours or um a whole day trip this is not overnight though so this is our like diaper bag i've had this for a while i actually have another video of what i used to pack for michaela when I was pregnant with Damien. I'll have that link below and in the eye card so that you can see that one, um, see how it's changed over the years. But anyway, so this is the diaper bag that we use. Um, and I just like it because it's more of like a duffel bag and it holds a lot of stuff. So this one has wheels and a handle that comes out so that I can wheel it around. Honestly, I don't really wheel it around as often as I used to. Um, I thought this would have been great for having a kid and then a wheelchair um, and then just be able to wheel it behind me. But now I'm actually looking for something that hangs over my shoulder um, that I can just grab and go with. So I would like to upgrade to a different bag eventually, but this one works really well for now. Um, it has a big open pocket at the top um, so that you can see everything in it, which I love. Um, and then it's got a pocket back here, which I actually don't use and then a front pocket um, Which again is nice and big so you can see Everything in there and then it actually has a pocket in the back, which I don't ever use either so those are kind of um, The pockets that I do and don't use um, But anyway, so I will just get into what we pack I have everything off to the side for this video um, and then I'll just throw it in the diaper bag as we go. First things first is receiving blankets and I usually bring about four um, blankets with me for Michaela because as most of you know we don't suction and we use receiving blankets um, for her drool instead. So we normally bring um, three like drool blankets and then I usually have one um, or seem like it that goes underneath her bum and I usually have a change pad but they're actually all packed away um, for our camping trip coming up so that is what we pack for receiving blankets next is diapers so I usually bring three to four diapers for Michaela now if we're only going out for an hour I may only bring like one or two um, in a smaller bag with some wipes but on a full day trip, I usually bring three to four diapers for Michaela. And then I bring at least four or five diapers for Damien. Um, and this is just because he doesn't, um, he won't go on the potty at like a store or that yet. Um, so that's why he needs diapers. Then I bring a full box of wipes because who knows one of them might go to the bathroom and we need a lot of wipes so I always bring lots and lots of wipes. Then I bring a set of clothes or two sets of clothes for each kid. So right now I only have one set. Um, I would only bring one set if we were going on a short trip but I would bring like two sets of clothes um, if we were going on a long trip and usually with Damien I'll bring a little extra and maybe throw in a sleeper and that's because um, It's just nice to have a sleeper. They're nice and cozy in that. So I have a set of clothes for Michaela And a set of clothes for Damien The next thing is a blanket and I usually bring uh, Damien a blanket, but he's usually holding it and then I also bring a blanket for Michaela and it's usually on her, um, like over her legs, but sometimes I end up throwing it in the bag if it's summer days and it's nice out um, and it's just chilly in the house or whatever or in the car, um, then I'll throw it in the bag. So that is it for the, the big pocket. And now I have um, just a few things that go in the front pocket. First things first is their ammonization cards. Um, I have both Michaela's and Damien's in the same folder, so that goes in. Then I have um, this pump, and this is for Michaela's Rojo cushion, and this is to blow it up if I need to. The next thing I have is my stethoscope, and this is 
Um, I just carry with me just in case I need to check on Michaela. But for the most part, she's usually pretty good and I don't even need it, but I just like to have it with me anyways. Then, same goes as this. This is her oxygen monitor. I don't normally need it, um, however, I just like to have it with me just in case for whatever reason something starts going downhill, I can check her and be sure. Next, I have Michaela's sunscreen. And this is the Neutrogenia Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen SPF 110. So as all of you know, um, Michaela is very fair skinned and she does not do well in the sun. So I always have this with me. They used to have like a spray one that was 100 SPF, but I can't find that anymore. So I find this works just as good. Next, I have um, her Aero Chamber and Puffers. So this, again, like her stethoscope and oxygen monitor, I don't always need it, um, but I bring them just in case, um, especially on long trips, because if we're not close to home, I want to be able to have them just in case. So her aero chamber and puffers, one is Flovent and the other one is Ventolin. Next, I keep a thermometer, just again, as a precaution. Then I keep um, refreshed tear drops, eye drops um, in there. I don't use these very often, um, but I find that if I need them, I have them and I'm good to go. Next, I keep these um, foot warmers um, packs. They're the self-heating ones and you just crack them and then they go warm. Um, Michaela doesn't have the greatest circulation in her feet, so I like to have these, especially in the winter months um to warm up her feet really quickly then i just normally have a hair tie for michaela um and me if i need one <laughs> then this is something that we use pretty often um lately and it's atropine drops and this is to help dry out her saliva so instead of using oxygen during the day we use these instead and they seem to work pretty well and to just let you all know, Michaela is off oxygen during the day again, which is great. Um, she's just on it at night. So that's what we've been using to help with that is atropine. And it, we do use these quite often, especially on long, long trips. Next we have um, Michaela's medications. So I will bring whatever I need for the amount of time that we're going. Usually it's only her afternoon feed. Um, that we need because we'll usually feed her before we leave then she'll have her afternoon feed and we'll be home by the time She needs our night feed. So I also bring her flush of water and The amount of water that she needs in her feed and then I bring one can of formula Depending on how many we need sometimes we bring an extra one just in case you never know if this breaks open and We lose it all on the ground or something sometimes we bring two but usually we're pretty good. Oh, and her pump. Um, this is usually on her chair um, with a bag attached. I just have an extra pump, so I just showed you because um, she's technically uh, hooked up right now to her other pump. Um, but yeah, so we have her feed pump that is usually attached to her chair. And then also attached to her chair is her little Tinkerbell pouch, and this carries um a few things so first off it carries her health card um as some of you may know we are in ontario and we have free health care so this is what we carry um is a health card so we carry the health card um just in case because obviously with michaela you never know when you're going to go to a hospital um this i don't even know what it is um, oh, we have another hair tie because sometimes, you know, um, this is her um, sick kids card. And then the most important thing or one of the most important things in here is um, a catheter. And this is in case her tube comes out, I can replace her tube with a catheter so the hole doesn't close. And then I just have some tape in there as well to tape it on. So this little pouch never ever comes off of her wheelchair, except for this video. <laughs> um, and it's always there right with me because usually if I'm going to a hospital, 
she's right there with me and I can grab it off of her chair. And then the last thing is oxygen. So this is the little um, tool that you use to turn open the oxygen or close it. I always have that in there. And along with that, we bring oxygen. So normally I have two or three of these in the back of my van just in case um, and the one that goes on her chair. So she needs the line that goes with it that goes in her nose and then this is the regular regulator piece. See if I can. So you just use this tool to open and close it and then this comes off and this is a regulator and this just adjusts how much um, oxygen she gets. So we have that and then I usually have two or three of the bottles in my van. And that is all for our diaper bag. So that is what we carry <laughs> and it gets pretty heavy um, sometimes. But oh and I forgot to mention I usually have a couple snacks for Damien if we're going on a long trip. Um, just because it helps keep him occupied. Um, and content. So anyways, that is our diaper bag. That is what we take on a day's trip um, If you want to see what we take on longer trips, please let me know um, I can kind of show you the difference between the two But yeah, so that's all for today's video If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them in my next video I hope you are all having a wonderful day when you see this we will be camping Which is awesome because we're going in the fall as late as we can possibly go to get use of out of our Canada parks here and yeah, so I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.